Hi everyone! Welcome back to our channel, my Lulila. Another cooking episode and today we are going to make cheesy ensaymada. I got the recipe from Foxy Foxy. I am going to put the link for her blog on the description box below for the complete recipe. So keep on watching. Let's bake bread lada. And I'm using this one. I bought this. I've cleaned this already. I bought this from Amazon. And it's the premium nonstick silicon pastry mat. Perfect for making pastry, pizza, bread, cookie, food grade. What's food grade product? Nonstick silicon kneading mat. Easy to clean, easy to store. I fold and shine. I put it back after cleaning and drying. I'll put it back in the box and put it away. So cabinet. Let's dye your hair first. Let's prepare the ingredients. Go. Hi everyone, we're making ensaymada. So let's let's proceed. Tell me about the ingredients. Milk. It's one cup of milk. One half cup of sugar. Butter. One half cup softened butter. Yeast. One tablespoon yeast. Salt. Pinch of salt. Butter. One fourth cup butter for brushing later. Mm, flour. Three and one half cup flour. Egg. Three egg yolks. For our toppings, we will need. One half cup softened butter. Powdered sugar. One half cup powdered sugar. Cheese. And grated cheese. Cheese of your choice. I'm using mild cheddar cheese for today. So let's proceed. Let's start by proofing the yeast. We will also need. Warm water, about one fourth cup of warm water. You add sugar. two tablespoons of sugar. Yes. Some more. Can you get a spoon later, day? Okay. And then add your yeast. Can you get a spoon? Okay. See? If you see bubbles, it means that our yeast is alive. All we need to do is to wait for 10 minutes to 15 minutes until it will become active. Pour the milk inside the bowl. Then the sugar. And the butter. Add the salt the egg yolks and half of the flour add it gradually mix while adding and add the yeast continue to add the flour just mix them well and if it's ready to knead you may knead it inside the bowl first then transfer it to your working surface make sure to sprinkle flour on the working surface and continue to knead my daughter is helping me just 
scissors continue to knead the dough until it becomes soft and elastic. Brush the bowl with butter and place the dough inside it. Cover it with cling wrap but before that brush the dough with butter so that it will not stick. Let the dough rise for an hour. So after it's risen, just punch the dough for the air. And sprinkle your working surface. And divide the dough into 8 equal pieces. So roll the dough into lugs. I'm using these cupcake liners to prevent from sticking to the molder. And this molder is a Yorkshire pudding molder. But I'm using it for my insaimada. So all you need is to form it into a spiral form. And arrange it into the molder. Let it rise again for 15 to 30 minutes and then brush it with butter. Preheat your oven to 150 degrees Celsius. Bake it for about 20 to 25 minutes. While baking, let's prepare the toppings. Mix butter and powdered sugar and set this aside. The bread is ready. Remove it from the oven and make sure it has cooled down before we apply the butter mixture because it will just melt and we don't want it. We want the softened butter to stay on top of our bread. So I've tried it and it's still hot so we need to wait for a, li a little bit longer. So the bread has cooled down, I've applied, i brushed butter on top of it, and then sprinkle some cheese, a lot of cheese. So here is our finished product, our cheesy ensaimada. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click on the notification bell for more updates.